Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of State of Survival with Wakarash Gaming. On the 31st of December 2022, I made a video talking about the 5 things that State of Survival would need to improve urgently to have any longevity of this survival game. In my view, 2023 was going to be the year to make State of Survival great again. I don't know about you guys, but I sure am excited to be great again. Aren't you excited, gang? Or break it permanently with no further hopes to recover. <laughs> it took a further five months, with many videos critical from other content creators and myself of State of Survival's approach, before the developers from State of Survival realized they needed to say something, and through Becca, they spouted a whole host of lies about how the devs understand the player's feelings, about how the devs are listening to players' feedback, about how the devs are going to slow down the releases of new features, and finally about how they will help low spenders to enjoy the game. Well, I made a video on this too, telling you my honest truth that it's just full of lies after lies and more lies. As you can imagine, this sort of videos are extremely challenging to make, so do me a favor and smash the subscribe and slap the like button. That would greatly help the video to reach a wider audience in YouTube and share this message a lot wider. So, this updates from the devs. <coughs> Becca, we had in 2023, there were a plethora of further features that were released. A new behemoth in T-Rex, a new aircraft formation system, new resonating heroes with the likes of Ollie, Angelica, Dylan, Ada, Leon, Serena. Man, I'm exhausted even saying these names aloud. Massively overpriced weekly and monthly limited time events, which seems like every single month now from the devs perspective. Hey, why not if you're paying? New limitless heroes, I mean, don't be duped because they're actually more expensive than the old style heroes. New gacha based Tempest arms, new collection skins buff, thanks, I mean, bloody plasma thanks in state of survival. Reminds you of World of Tanks anyone? Let's not forget Plasma HQ 13 and Plasma 13 buildings. There are probably some that I missed so please do let me know in the comments below if you would like to add any more features introduced which I may have missed. All these features are not mini or free but they are hugely expensive costing thousands of dollars. If you were to add the cost of all these features together, a mass player would have spent $250,000 in 20 23 alone to max them all out. That's quarter million dollars folks, which is absolutely bonkers for a game that lags and have bugs everywhere. Separately, the zombies are still remaining, running rampantly around aimlessly forcing you to spend your money. However, don't let the zombies trick you into paying the full price for bundles in State of Survival because the good news is the sponsors of today's video, Paxify is here to help you. Trusted by many top players in State of Survival, receiving hundreds of positive feedback, if you are struggling to hammer your opponents down, but don't want to sell your liver to grow stronger, then Paxify is the answer. Paxify will help you reduce the burden on your wallet as you will be spending less money than ever before. Depending on which countries you're from, you can see savings up to 35%. So, what are you waiting for? Check out the link in the description below and start growing stronger with Paxify while saving yourself a bucket loads of monies. Well, needless to say, the players both new and old were not excited with all these bullshit and voted with their wallets and their feet. Month to month, the revenue for State of Survival, both from Apple and Android, continued to reduce significantly in 2023. According to a recent article written by Neil Long on the 3rd of January 2024, it was a tough year for Fun Plus State of Survival, which dropped 22 places and posted an IAP earning revenue circa $239 million in 2023 compared to around $437 million in 2022. That's nearly a 50% drop in revenue and rather than listening to the players and the community, well, State of Survival is pressing hard on even more releases that milks the whales and the krakens that's left in game. So if you were personally to ask me about 2024, sadly, I don't have much good news to share as I do not believe the game developers are looking to change their trajectory with probably more releases and events being done 
done at the same speed in 2024 as they did in 2023. I've personally cut down my spending significantly and find it really daunting. The top 1% of players in State of Survival are untouchable and these new class are in a position of their own. Strategy? Well, there is no more strategy sets left that is going to compete with the top 1% of players. They are just untouchables. For myself, I aim to play and spend smart as I always have and work to be at least in the next 5% better class mm, being between 94% to 98% of the remaining of players in State of Survival. This way, I can also continue not only to entertain you with my videos but continue to spend the right amount of monies in-game to help my fellow mammals on my approach around this game because there are still a huge number of players that continue to enjoy State of Survival. Well, thank you for watching the video and I'll smell you soon for another video. Goodbye!